Well, not too many people can say they personally knew a World Series champion from 1949, and even fewer can say that they own a World Series ring. How do you know your ring is real? Well, <laughs> because I saw him take it off of his finger and <laughs> hand it to me. When a Cameron Park couple says they found someone claiming to be selling what might be the same ring, it was time to call Curtis. Yeah, this ring for auction actually sold this summer for more than $10,000. This couple is afraid with the other one floating out there claiming it might be the same ring. Theirs may not be as valuable. Sports biggest weekend climaxes at Ebbets Field where Brooklyn's Dodgers trailing the Yankees three games to one must do or die. In the Yankee third... Watching the 1949 World Series brings a smile to John Tomasello's face. For the 12th time champions of the world because he knew one of the players. He was a part of that 1949 Yankees team that won the whole thing. Yankees pitcher Ralph Buxton, a close friend. Months before Ralph died in 1988, John says he personally gave him this, his prized 1949 World Series ring. He did get teary-eyed when he handed it to me. The ring Ralph always wore on his left hand, along with the original leather box. And he had said, I'm not getting any younger. I have no family, no loved ones. Uh, before I go, before anybody comes in and takes control of my house, I want you to have this. What did that mean to you? It just, it meant the world. It was probably the most valuable thing that was ever given to me. But nearly three decades later, a surprise. He and his wife Deanna found somebody auctioning off what they claimed might be Ralph Buxton's 1949 World Series ring. So when you see this online, what do you think? I am freaked out, shocked. I immediately went to my safe to make sure that I had the ring. And we're like, okay, thank God the ring's there. Posted on the auction site, this letter from 1998, stating the ring is 100% authentic, also saying it is unclear as to whom the ring was originally awarded to, but goes on to say, we found only one player that might fit these facts, Ralph Buxton. I can understand if it said it is a player that could possibly fit the facts, but when it says the only player, the rings look similar, but John's has Ralph's name inscribed inside. And this one does not, has no inscription. Deanna got on the phone with the auction company. Even though you have the word might, it still seems as though you're trying to say it's Ralph's ring. And we know that it's not because we have that ring. In what did he possession. say? He said, well, how do I know you're telling the truth? Even after her call, the ring sold at auction for $10,710. And I assume the person that bought it thinks it's Ralph Buxton's ring. We brought the case to sports memorabilia expert TJK. It's just an awesome ring to have, especially with the original presentation box. Authenticating sports trophies and rings for three decades, TJ knows how to spot a fake. And while he can't speak to the ring sold at auction, he does believe John's ring is authentic and worth up to $25,000. He doesn't understand why the authentication letter would say the one sold at auction might be Ralph Buxton's ring. I would not have written that. We reached out to the person named on that authentication letter, Joshua Leland Evans, a well-known sports memorabilia expert. His spokesperson told us he did not want to comment and doesn't recall authenticating the ring back in 1998. I'd like the owner of the new ring to understand that it is not Ralph's ring. Afraid his ring has lost value, we reached out to the seller Golden Auctions, which insisted the ring they sold is authentic, although they admit the company didn't have it independently authenticated before putting it up for auction. We asked if they'd tell the buyer it's not Ralph Buxton's ring, and we're told we can accurately state the winning bidder will not be offering the ring for sale at any point in the future as a Ralph Buxton World Series ring. Relief to John, who felt somebody was trying to devalue his treasure, a treasure he plans to protect. What do you plan to do with this ring? Uh, pass it down to my kids. Sportsman across the nation salute manager Casey Stengel and his courageous New York Yankees. By the way, John met Ralph Buxton through his own grandfather, who was also a professional baseball player. TJ, the expert, does not think this will lower the value of John's ring, but says it could lower the value of the ring sold at auction. He says World Series rings from then typically had names inscribed inside. The one that sold at auction could be real, too, but he says that inscription could be gone if that ring was ever resized. Have a consumer problem? CBS 13 is here for you. Just go to our website, cbs13.com slash call Curtis and fill out our form.